Hi everyone, and welcome to DogFest Philly, New Jersey 2020. I'll be your host today. DogFest looks a little different this year. You're tuning in from your computers at home instead of gathering at Campus Town at TCNJ. While we're disappointed we can't be together in person this year, we're very excited to bring you our virtual DogFest Philly, New Jersey. You're in for an entertaining afternoon. You'll get to see how an adorable, cuddly puppy turns into an assistance dog for someone with a disability, see assistance dog demos, and hear the stories of some of our graduates, and so much more as we celebrate the human-canine bond. You'll want to stick around until the end to see the adorable entries of our contest finalists and hear more about some of the amazing items you can bid on in our silent auction. Here to kick off the event is Liesl, president of the Philadelphia Volunteer Chapter. Take it away, Liesl. Good morning. Thank you for tuning in and joining us at our Virtual Dog Fest 2020. We're grateful for your interest and participation in this special mission. For those of you not yet familiar with us, founded in 1975, Canine Companions for Independence is a nonprofit organization that enhances the lives of people with disabilities by providing expertly trained assistance dogs and ongoing support to ensure quality partnerships. Canine Companions is the largest nonprofit provider of assistance dogs. We are recognized worldwide for the excellence of our dogs and the quality and longevity of the matches we make between dogs and people. Through the efforts of our corporate sponsors, donors, volunteers, puppy raisers, and people like you, we are able to provide these dogs to our graduates at no cost. The result is a life full of increased independence and loving companionship. In 2019, Canine Companions for Independence welcomed 776 puppies into professional training. The estimated value of the hours those puppy raisers provided is approximately $20 million. Since its inception in 1975, Canine Companions for Independence has proudly changed over 6,300 lives through Canine Companion Assistance Dog Placement. I wanna thank a few people and recognize them for their efforts in preparing for this year's new virtual dog fest. That would of course be our committee, which was co-chaired by Brielle Fano and Gina King. They had lots of help from members of the Philadelphia, New Jersey, and Hudson Valley chapters. Thank you all for your dedication and perseverance. We always welcome new volunteers, and if you're interested in becoming involved in next year's dog fest, please feel free to reach out to all of us and we will help get you connected. Thank you again for supporting this amazing mission. We can't do it without you. Thank you, Liesl. Remember, you can help keep the mission moving forward by making a donation to DogFest Philly, New Jersey today at the link in the description or keep an eye out for the QR code during today's event. The first chapter of our story starts with our volunteer breeder caretakers who care for our breeder dogs and newborn puppies in their homes. Let's check in with Susan, a breeder caretaker herself and the adorable future assistance dogs she's caring for. My name is Susan Porteous. I'm the Northwest Region Puppy Program Manager for Canine Companions. And if you've never joined our organization for anything before, Canine Companions for Independence is a nonprofit organization that breeds, trains, and places assistance dogs uh, with adults, children, and veterans with disabilities, completely free of charge. Um, and along with being a puppy program manager as my professional career, I am also a volunteer breeder caretaker. So that means that I have litters of puppies in my home. Um, I have breeder dog Harmony, uh, who lives with me um, all the full time. She's my pet dog most of the time. And then she does have litters for canine companions. So we've got her little puppies here. These guys are about six weeks old. Um, so they are just a couple of weeks out from meeting their volunteer puppy raiser. This is Broadway. And true to his name, Broadway loves to be in the spotlight as well. He's a big ball. Um, so he's always up for a good time. He always makes us laugh with his antics. His tongue is always hanging out the side of his face. He's bouncing around the pen. He loves to love life. You have a good time, don't you? Yeah, you're funny. This is what they're going to wear while they're with their volunteer puppy raisers to show that they are a puppy in the Canine Companions program. Uh, especially when they're able to go out and about to public places. 
Um, so it's helpful for us to start introducing them to that at this age so that they're already really comfortable wearing things by the time they get to their puppy razor. Um, there's not a lot of formal stuff going on. They're just being introduced to new things in their environment and in their world, um, kind of at their own pace. So we'll put things in. Today we've got a baking sheet that's a different surface. It's metal, it's slippery, um, but we're not asking them to walk on it. We're just letting them do it at their own pace. Once they're with their puppy raiser, then they are gonna start doing a little bit more of actual training, learning some skills, going different places. Um, but the day-to-day -day routine really just depends on what that puppy raiser's life is like. A lot of them will go to work with their puppy raisers. They go to the store. Obviously things are a little different right now, um, but in a, a normal time, a uh, puppy raiser is often taking that puppy most places with them. Professional training is then of course different again because they are living in the kennels with us. Um, so it's a little bit of an adjustment for them there, um, but they do come out with their trainers for most of the day. They get time to play with their buddies, they get time training one-on-one -on -one with their trainers, and they spend a lot of downtime hanging out in the training room as well. So for all three stages, we're getting a lot of attention, huh? Like Well, thank you guys for joining us again and seeing these pups learn and grow. Thanks, Susan. Now we're turning it over to Laura Numeroff to learn a little more about how these adorable, cuddly puppies turn into assistance dogs for people with disabilities. I'm going to read a book about a puppy that I wrote called Raising a Hero, illustrated by Lynn Munsinger. This book is dedicated to Ellie and Devon. Hi, I'm Max. My mom says when I grow up, I'm going to be a service dog. Service dogs are really smart. They can open doors, turn on lights, and even take off someone's shoes. My mom says helping someone do those things is just like being a hero. Every service dog starts learning with a puppy raiser. Right away, we'd be best friends. I'm going to live with Sam and his family for a whole year. He's going to teach me the basics before I go to a school to learn the really hard stuff.
every morning, Sam has bananas and milk, and I eat yummy, crunchy kibble. When we're finished, it's time to start training. Sometimes I just want to run around and play. When Sam and I go out, I get to wear my special yellow vest. It lets people know I'm working. I always feel important when I have it on. Once a week, we go to Puppy Kindergarten. I'm friends with all the puppies in my class. There's Ellie, Porkchop, Nacho, Daisy, Mr. Bubbles, and Moose. Everything we learn to do in class is called a command. One of the commands I like best is visit. It means Sam is asking me to get close to him.
After school, we go to the park to practice. Sometimes I just want to chase the squirrels. Once I saw a real service dog and he didn't even look at the squirrels. I can't wait to be just like him. We met a little girl named Lucy who uses a wheelchair. I got to practice my visit command. Lucy said one day I'll help someone like her. Service dogs have to stay focused when they're working, so I have to practice being around people, cars, and all kinds of noises. go places where other dogs aren't allowed. I can go on the bus. The bus driver even lets me ride for free. I can go to the library. Sam likes to look at books about dinosaurs. I like to take a nap. I can go to a restaurant. 
I'm supposed to stay underneath the table, which is really hard when the french fries smell so good. but my favorite place to go is the movies. Sam always gives me a little popcorn. When we get home, Sam takes off my vest and we get to play. Sometimes I get so dirty, I have to take a bath. Before we go to bed, Sam reads aloud and I listen. After Sam says, the end, he brushes his teeth, and then he brushes mine. When it's time for me to leave, Sam and I are going to miss each other very much. But we both like dreaming about how I'll be helping someone who needs a dog like me.
And that's just like being a hero. I hope you like the story. Stay safe, stay healthy, and remember to wash your paws. Bye. These dogs are truly heroes to the people they are matched with. Who better to tell us about the impact these dogs can have than the graduate themselves? Let's hear from Hudson Valley Volunteer Chapter President and Canine Companions graduate, Kara, with Service Dog Brewer. Hi, I'm Kara, and this is my very sweet and very helpful Service Dog Brewer. Brewer and I have been together for nine years now, thanks to Canine Companions for Independence and his amazing volunteer puppy raiser family, the Levies. to be independent and I reward him with lots of love and a great life. When I need help getting the mail, Brewer goes out to my front porch and gets it for me. And I love to clean, but I don't like it when I drop the vacuum or mop handle. Thankfully, Brewer picks it up for me so I can finish the job. Right up! If I need help turning lights on and off, Brewer helps with that. Also, he's trained to push the emergency button for me if I need help. We go everywhere together. When we're out running errands, Brewer can carry packages and bags. And if I drop my car keys, he'll pick them up and put them on my lap for me. Brewie, visit. Visit. Good boy. And going out with Brewer is like going out with Bradley Cooper on a leash. He's very popular and a great icebreaker. Words could never really fully express how much more Full and independent my life has been with my two service dogs, Birch and Brewer, and getting to know and love the volunteer puppy raiser families that raised each of my service dogs has been a true blessing and the icing on the cake. Thank you so much for supporting Canine Companions for Independence. It truly is an exceptional organization, and I am very fortunate to be a graduate and a volunteer. Brewie, say thank you. Say thank you. Good boy. Thank you. We've got some exciting news. When you donate to Dogfest Philly, New Jersey, your donation will be double. Thanks to a generous donor. There's no better time to donate than right now to make your gift go twice as far.
When I feel alone, you remind me that I'm not. And when life gets on its own, you're always there. Thank you to everyone who entered our contest. We're here to announce our adorable finalists, but we need your help to select the winner. Head to the Dogfest Philly, New Jersey Facebook event page after this event to vote for your favorites. Extremely excited to announce the Dogfest Philly, New Jersey silent auction. You can start bidding on these amazing items today at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bidding will be open until Friday, October 16th. Your proceeds will go towards making more life-changing matches like the ones you've seen today. Let's take a quick look at some of the incredible items that are just a bit away from being yours. Thank you all so much for joining us today. Remember, there's still time to donate to help canine companions continue to place these remarkable dogs at no cost to the recipients during these difficult times. Click the link in the description to donate or to learn more. Now to introduce our final speaker, Mark Robillard. Mark is a volunteer puppy raiser, currently raising puppy Robo. Mark has raised $9,000 in counting for Dogfest Philly, New Jersey this year alone. Let's turn it over to Mark and Robo to close out the show. Oh, is it showtime? I was just taking a nap. Somebody call makeup. Okay. Thank you for coming to Dog Fest 2020, Philly, New Jersey. To all my two-leggeds, the sponsors, the donors, the workers, the organizers, you did a great job. To my four-leggeds, keep it up, boys. As Robo, a puppy and program, we need the work. We'll see you next year. Bye.